Hi, um, it has been requested of me that I do a kind of tutorial video on how I hide my um, terribly thin hair. So from this angle, and I'm sorry this is the only angle I can do with my phone, uh, with this angle it's hard to tell because my hairline actually is fairly intact. Um, however, if you take a look at the side of my head, it's a little bit more apparent, even with the top, but especially on the sides, um, how thin it really is. So I went to bed with towel dried hair and I have zero product in my hair at all. Um, you will see that it is very, very frizzy. Okay, so I'm, this is proof of my thin hair if you didn't believe me before. One bobby pin held up my entire head of hair. And you can see through, I don't have a lot of hair. It's frizzy, it's kind of wavy, it's normally very curly, but I've brushed it this morning before throwing it up. Uh, this is my hair, so super thin. Um, if you want more body, you can blow dry. I'm trying to be as gentle, let me see if I can tilt that a little bit better. I'm trying to be a little um, gentler on my hair just for the sake of preserving what I have left. Anyway, um, if you wanted more body, body, you could blow dry it, and then also when you blow drying it, do what is called an over direction. An over direction is actually, um, I tend to part my hair here and then have it go this direction. So when I'm blow drying it, if I wanted more body, I would pull the hair this direction, blowing the air that way. And then when it dries, it'll have this nice fluff area. But because I'm low maintenance and um, I don't have a lot of time to do my hair, I have a seven month old, this is kind of how I do it. <laughs> so first, get a dry, dry hair. Second, you're going to do what I call sectioning and backcombing. I call them that because that's what they're called. Um, so because I don't have a lot of hair, I do a middle top section, which is always last because that's the most visible part of anyone's hair and um, we'll need the most body, so I do that last. Um, I do two side sections. Um, so I'm just getting them out of the way with some bobby pins. Um, we'll come back in a little bit. Okie doke. It is super sunny today. <laughs> um, I feel like that's my window. So I figured it was a great day to do this because the lighting is fantastic. So one, two, three, and then I leave the back. Um, you can do more sections as needed with however many, um, however many, however much hair you have, you want to take smaller manageable sections. So first what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna brush it out. I have a special like hair loss brush that is super flexible so it doesn't pull anything. You can also use a comb. I have a back combing brush, but I'm not gonna use it on the sides. I'm gonna use a comb, so give me just a moment. Sorry about that, I forgot to get my comb out. So I'm gonna use a comb on the sides just because that is where I am the thinnest. Now notice I am not teasing. I'm not going back and forth. I'm making a nice C shape from the middle strand all the way in. And you'll see this is zero product and it's sticking a good, you know, it's, it's like a good four or five inches off my head. Um, so that is back combing. And I use a comb because if I use the brush, it'd be a lot harder to blend it because I don't have, this is all the hair I have on the side. Um, I'm gonna show you one section, I will do the other one and I'll come back for the top. But um, the next thing we do is a hair powder. 
and um, I use the one called Topic. It's a fibrous powder that is tinted and it clings to your hairs. So it doesn't, it doesn't stick to your scalp, which therefore doesn't stick to your hands or face. If you do have makeup on and you get it on your makeup, it can stick to it. Um, so I, I don't normally wear makeup. I just, you know, because it's ladies night to make uh, with some friends. And, um, but anyway, if you're gonna do that, I would normally do the powder before makeup or just be really careful. Some people even apply the powder with a brush. I need so much powder that I literally tilt my head and just shake it on too. And I'll show you that in a moment. I just have to grab the powder. I was not very prepared. <laughs> so this is my powder. It is called Topic. I'm using the medium brown. It has a shaker top, also a lid. If you're using a brush, um, like a makeup brush or something to put it on, I would recommend tapping it into the lid and then using that as like a, a well. Um, but anyway, do not put it on the front. So I pull my hair forward, and I've never tried to do this showing people. Um, and I just kind of tap it, tap it around. And it's gonna give this dull matte look to um, your hair at first, but that's okay. Um, that's not as noticeable and it does blend it in a little bit. Um, I like to use big sexy hair because it gives me um, more volume and it's a quick, don't need a whole lot. So just spray a little bit just to set it and then I take my, my comb and just Smooth that top layer down, okay? So it's gonna stick out at first. That's okay. I'm gonna do the other side and I'll come back for the top. Awesome, right? Okay, so last part is the top part. And I tend to do this um, in rows. So I start from the back. And make sure we brush it out for this one I'm going to use the brush I should say that when you're back combing back comb in the direction that your hair is going so because these are sides I was I was vertical and this is the top I'm gonna to be horizontal so I'm just gonna go very gently I'm not pushing super hard and then go all the way up check that out I promise you there is no product in this hair and I washed it yesterday um, so again and I'm gonna actually go in between each section and put the powder so see there's no powder here and back comb place it up so see no powder see how you see my scalp Make sure you get into your part two powder. See how different that is? So on this last one, because I do not back home the piece that's going directly into my hairline, I need some hair to blend. Um, so back coming in. Okay. And powder really carefully because we're getting closer to our face. Look at that. Can't even tell. And then this piece just comes back. So this is for an updo. If you were going to do your hair straight or curled, I would recommend doing that first, straightening it, curling it first, and then going in your curls or in your straightened hair, um, doing this number, and then going back and touching it up. But I'm going to be doing my hair up, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to take this handy tease brush, tease brush, and me back combing brush, and I'm going to kind of gently direct the hair where I want it. And I didn't even spray the top, and it's still got quite a bit of body. And then I'm going to guide, pull it back, guide it back. See, you can't see my scalp. And then I'm not 
not like truly like hardcore combing because if I did I would m misplace some of those fibers and it would erase my hard work. So I kind of just very gently, you can still, trust me, you can still get a tight ponytail with gentle brushing. I have mastered it, so I am just doing a ponytail at the moment. We'll style the ponytail in a second. So this is, you can see, oh, see how I missed a, plot, a spot right here? I can show you how to fix that. So, what I do is I actually pull it open, tilt my head, get some of the powders on there, kind of work it in with my fingers, and then place the hairs a little bit. See if I can get you in my dirty mirror. <laughs> so, yeah, very good coverage. And then I have one more product that I use and I use it very sparingly. It is TG Bedhead. It's a hair stick. Um, it's a, I think any wax would probably work. Um, I just take and rub it on my fingers. Oh, there's a, there's a <laughs> there we go. I rub it on my fingers warm it up, emulsify it, whatever you want to call it. And I just take those baby hairs and get them into submission. Ooh, just got that all in my nail. Um, just to get, you'll actually see, I did get some of the powder on here. So it's really easy to get off even in your makeup. So I kind of just let those baby hairs know who's boss do a quick spray again I avoid a comb I'm using my hands because they're my safest tool I have the most control okay so the top the most difficult part of my hairstyle is now done next I will probably this isn't really part of the thin hair club issue, any other than the fact that it's a small ponytail. Um, but my hair is super dry and damaged from my thyroid issues and having a baby and living in Colorado. So this is actually a mixture of witch hazel and essential oils. I have rosemary, lavender, um, and peppermint in there. Um, and it is actually, I spray my scalp before bed um, to help stimulate hair growth. I cannot tell you whether or not it works. I just started doing that. But I also use it to re-wet my hair when I need it to, to behave. And again, perks of having a few thin hair. So you don't need a whole lot of product. You don't need a whole lot of bobby pins. This is my second one I'm using. And I'm literally just pinning my hair into like a wrapped bun. I'll show you the finished product. So I can see it as well because I can't. Yeah. So I just basically hid, hid the hair tie with wrapping it. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions or if you think this was a terrible video. I know it's super long, but it's my first ever tutorial video and I have zero editing skills. So welcome to my bathroom and my life of camouflaging my hair. <laughs> um, have a great day.